Thank you very much, uh, Matt, for being with us. Um, uh, Dr. Matt Keberlein is Professor of Laboratory Medicine and Pathology and Director of the Healthy Aging and Longevity Research Institute at the University of Washington School of Medicine. Chief Scientific Officer at Optispan Geroscience, CEO of the American Aging Association and founder and co-director of the Dog Aging Projects, of which he will tell us more in this interview. Dr. Keberlein's research focuses on understanding the biological mechanisms of aging in order to facilitate translational interventions that promote health span and improve quality of life for people and companion animals. You can find Matt online at keberleinlab.org and on Twitter at mkeberlein. And I will share the links to uh, Matt's social sites on the, um, uh, in the video notes. So I'm very excited, Matt, to have you here in this class. Um, in this class, we teach uh, that aging is biology. Uh, we present the latest science uh, on uh, our understanding of its mechanism mechanisms and then we um, discuss how we can use this science to um, uh, and translate it into uh, healthy longevity interventions and while we do that i strive to maintain a balance between uh, enthusiasm for biology and uh, skepticism for uh, uh, the emerging um, longevity interventions and you are a master and maintaining this balance. So uh, I'm very thrilled to have you here. Thank you. <laughs> so I have three main goals for uh, this interview. So I would like to use your expertise and your current work with the Dog Aging Project um, to uh, provide some definitions, disentangle uh, facts from fiction, and also discuss the future directions in the field. So before we dive into the Dog Aging Project, can you help us define what is aging and the difference between health span and lifespan? Uh, sure, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Um, so I actually think that this question of what is aging is both extremely important and very challenging to answer. So I guess my answer, which is which may not be particularly satisfying, but, but which I believe is that aging means different things to different people. So probably the most important thing that we can do is to really be clear about what we mean when we talk about aging. And so, you know, I've been studying the biology of aging since I was a graduate student. And so when I use the word aging, I immediately gravitate towards that definition. And what I mean by that are the, the biological mechanisms at, you know, at the biochemical, molecular, cellular levels that cause a young animal to become an old animal. And it's really that biology of aging that creates, I believe, a permissive physiological state for all of the functional declines and diseases that, that go along with aging. So when I talk about aging, I'm talking about that biology, those specific mechanisms. Um, but I think it's important to recognize not everybody has that definition. And so I, I think we just have to be careful because sometimes when people start talking about should we call aging a disease, well, I think that really depends on what you mean when you say aging. And so I, I so so that's what I mean. And that's that's how I'm going to use aging. And if you listen to me talk, I'm I'm certainly not perfect at it, but I try very hard to say biological aging when I'm speaking rather than just saying aging, because you know, chronological aging has all sorts of other aspects to it in addition to the biological component, there's actually a lot of good aspects to chronological aging. You know, we learn, we hopefully develop wisdom. Um, uh, and I think those things are important aspects of chronological aging that aren't, that, that don't necessarily fall under biological aging. So long answer, I mean, biological aging. Recognize that, that a lot of what you're going to hear about things that you should do to improve health span, enhance lifespan in this realm of longevity um, is guesswork. And, and people who speak with certainty, I would be wary of. Maybe that's the rule. People who speak with a lot of certainty in this space, I would be wary of. If they're not, if they're not telling you that this is their opinion or this is their best guess and they're saying this is fact, I'd be careful. 
That's one of the best tips I've ever heard. <laughs> Thank you very much. It took me a while to get there, but I'm glad I got there. No, it's, it's great. I, th- I think I, I even read this in a book about critical thinking in general, which is, uh, which is true. Usually um, uh, the, the people who want the, to sell you something, they, they, they wear something professional. They want to project themselves as the experts, <laughs> right? In general, yeah, clearly, I'm not t- trying to sell you anything, right? I'm here in my T-shirt. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Italian. I'm always wearing some, something uh, <laughs> fancy, but that's another uh, that's another thing. Anyway, thank you very much, Matt. Thank you sure. very much for being with us tonight. My pleasure.